1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 29. And there are some of men who become attuned he is God. He is God. He cannot lie. He is God. He cannot lie. He is God. He cannot lie. It is impossible for a pit to back. So also, it is impossible to see the fish walk. So it will be impossible for your God to lie. I understand your situation that there are times in your life you cannot even figure out whether Abrabo Beyeye or not. But I came with a sure word that God cannot lie. So they went to Isaiah. They said, Isaiah, listen, we have served God for so many years and we still can't figure the moves of God. We don't understand God anymore. Isaiah, but we are not enjoying breakthroughs. Isaiah, what is happening? Then God spoke to Isaiah. I said, Isaiah, their names are written in my palm. Go and tell them that even if a woman can forget her own child, it is impossible for I, God, to forget my own children. Can I tell you this? You not feeling comfortable in the process of pregnancy does not mean you cannot give birth. Yeah, there are women, when they get pregnant for the first one month, it is not easy. In fact, I am sure that some of them, they wish that the baby is not even there at all. Because what they go through, the pain, the hard times, the tough times they go through, I am sure some of them, even though some way, somehow, they are happy. At a point, they can have a missed feeling. But the hope is that even though I am not comfortable in my first month, there will surely be a ninth month. God cannot lie. Every man you have ever encountered can lie. Why? Because men, no matter how good a man is, he's limited not to be like God. When I say, and the Bible tells you that, and also the strength of Israel will not lie. He's trying to tell you that, yes, men and people are Israel. And then somewhere, somehow, they went into captivity, into the hands of Pharaoh. But when it comes to the time for deliverance, I am God, I cannot lie. Can I tell you this? This year, your life will not remain like this. I am preaching to people with faith and hope. I came to lift your faith up that the God you are following cannot lie. God calls a man, say, Brah, no Abba. Say, listen, I am God. I am telling you, Jauma, me, and no Papa. The God says that I am not even telling you the land. Just leave your father's house. Leave your mother's house. There is a place I have prepared for you. Can I tell you this? There are times when God is underground. Working for your future. You may not see it. And the fact that you don't see does not mean something is not happening. The problem we have as Christians is the fact that when God is working underground. I have a gallon say. When God is working underground, there are times I understand you will be confused. You will not understand. You wonder whether something is actually happening. But I came to tell you that our God is working behind the scene for us. Amen. Oh, God cannot lie. Why? Because he is not like a man. The fish cannot one day stand and say that I am here to violate the laws, the principles, and the limits of my life. But from today, we want to walk on the earth. It is impossible. Listen, when you are can hunt them, you can't be a can hunt them. Not just a was in the bush, they are what can so be a man. Even though it may tell you, sometimes it will not happen according to your calendar. But once he is the one who rules over seasons and times, was in the country, he will not lie. Amen. Abraham, I want to bless you, but the only way I can bless you, for I fear, and go to the land I promised you. And I'm say, build the tent here. Number one, how do you take a step 
you don't know where you are going to. What God is about to do, he doesn't need your strength. All he needs you to do is to keep believing that faithful is he who has promised. And the God who has promised will do it. Your problem is that no way you at all. You easily give up. Number one, through your confession. My bread. But I came to tell you that the same Abraham that God caused him to journey to the land that he didn't know that God had prepared for him. The same God made a promise and said, I wonder what you're saying. Now, what for It wasn't coming to pass, but the Bible says that and Abraham kept his faith alive. He kept holding on to his faith. So when you're a wakano, one year, number ten years, number twenty years, number. But God sent me to tell you that if He did it for Abraham, you are the next person. Yeah. Oh, for the fact that you doubt yourself doesn't mean God doubts Himself. And I came to tell you that when God is in charge, everything is under control. You see your problem. It's very simple. We did here when you went to Nazia. See, if God decides to delay you, people can mock at you, but God is in charge. Period. Your problem is that, you see, God is not under any pressure to do what he wants to do when it is not his time. He is graciously gracious. Almighty God. He rules and reigns in the affairs of men. And in fact, and now Minu can say, the man can decide to change the world like football. Yeba with Jeremiah, or Yambo Jatuono. Then God spoke and said, And son, I yeba woke around me. I knew about you. Minimo did that. Now me, my boy would be a frail. Now the question is, from the childhood of Jeremiah until when he grew, I am sure that he had a lot of doubt. To the extent that even when God spoke to him and said, you are a prophet, he doubted God. Sister, don't doubt God. Me say God will do it. Hannah, my two young. What you say? And every year, Hannah was praying. Hannah kept fasting. Hannah kept believing God. And Hannah didn't even know that Onyamina had to the food. Listen, not all stagnations are caused by the devil. In fact, I came to tell you this. Very simple. God can delay you for the future. Yes. In fact, God can disappoint you for your best. You see, when the good wine is reserved for the last, it doesn't make the party worse. It takes those who can wait and wait and wait to enjoy the best at last. If you really want to understand life, look unto God who happens to be the author and the finisher of your faith. If you look at men, you will not understand God. If you look at God, you will understand men. Men in them is full of promise and faith. Amen. So when you are looking at the man, you are looking at disappointment. When you are looking at God, you are looking at appointment. And so you look at God, and it's like, even if men refuse it, God will cause the heavens to be open. But when you look at men, it's like once the door is shut by men, then I have no opportunities. But I came this morning to encourage you that the God who has begun a good work in you, he will finish it. Sometimes it doesn't look like the way you want it, but God is at work. There are times you need to thank him in any way because God is in the process. I came to encourage you that God is about to do something new. Can you give your neighbor a high five? God is about to do something new. God cannot say, I also, and also, that's, uh, that's strength. When somebody says, I am your strength, it means that you got no problem. Yeah. 
That no problem. Relax. Relax. Listen, when God is your God, just understand this, that when you think you are failing, you have already promoted. Everything God has done, he will do, and he has promised to do. I came to tell you, you will not die without encountering it. Amen. When God says, you are a poor shepherd boy, by very soon I will make a king out of you, he will do it. Amen. When God says, even though your mother has cursed you, but you are jabbers, I want you to, I want to use you to turn around generations. God will still do it. Uh, am I blessing somebody? When people look at you as Jacob, God is looking at Israel. Sometimes, somewhere, somehow, people can meet you at the way. They can look at you and describe you as a prostitute, but God can see an evangelist. They say, I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you. My plans are good and not evil. When you are Mr. Mami, I with a word that he will not lie to you. Amen. Listen, you only lie to someone you fear. And who does God fear? You can only lie to someone who is greater than you, who is greater than God. So why would God lie to you when he's greater than you? Why? So why do you doubt God? And God says, I should tell you that he has promised to do something with you. And he will do it. Can I tell you this boldly? Even your own mistakes will not stop God. If God is to put attention on your mistakes, he will put you under detention. God is looking for a man to become the king of Israel. And at this time, everybody is seated. And then the prophet Samuel picks an oil, looking for who to anoint. And then suddenly God speaks and says, location, you know, are you good? The people seated, they look like kings. But, can I tell you this? Anybody who has ever preached, including me, to tell you that location matters. I came to tell you location doesn't matter. It is God who matters. 